If cotton kills, how come there are no horror movies about it? Howdy y'all, it's Mark from Camping Forage. Today we're gonna to talk about an important subject, which is why don't we wear cotton as our base layers in the outdoors? Okay, so uh, when you start studying uh, uh, outdoors and what to, most importantly, what to wear when we go outside, you'll very quickly learn you're not supposed to wear cotton as your base layer. This can, can be confusing to people because like we just wear cotton t-shirts all the time and you'll probably think, well, hey, so-and-so back in the day, you know, some kind of, you know, uh, historical figure, uh, surely they wore cotton and they probably did, but there's a reason why we now know not to wear cotton uh, in the outdoors. And so, uh, but so let's talk about that. All right, so first things first, I have a, 100% uh, cotton t-shirt here. I'm um, gonna talk about later in the video why it is bright orange and why I still always bring it with me even though cotton's not a great base layer. And then I have a uh, Under Armour uh, t-shirt here. This is what I normally wear in warm weather uh, when I go uh, camping, hiking, backpacking. So the first things first. Uh, what you'll notice about cotton is that uh, versus like an like a, a athletic modern synthetic athletic t-shirt is you can definitely tell cotton's heavier uh, so again anything we're going to go out we're going to go outside uh, it's you know the weight will start mat weight matters uh, so even though it's only a couple ounces you can definitely tell this is much lighter uh, than this shirt secondly uh, is if it's a warm day having something like your Under Armour, you know, these athletic leisure uh, shirts is they do a great job of, w of letting the, of wicking the moisture away from your body, letting it evaporate, and it's gonna help keep you cool. You also wanna keep this in mind when we're in cool weather. Uh, so for example, this week, today, I'm, I'm filming this uh, in the last week of December, uh, well, last week of 2021 and in Dallas, and it's still in the 70s here. Uh, and I'm going camping for, for New Year's Eve. Uh, so if it's New Year's Eve, it's going to only drop into the 60s overnight. A cold front's coming through to welcome us into the new year and it's going to drop down into the 20s. Uh, so even when it gets that cold, I'm gonna need to layer up to keep myself warm, but I still like having a synthetic layer underneath because I wanna make sure if I do sweat, that I'll be able to wick that moisture away and I'll take my layers off, let the moisture wick away, let it evaporate, get myself dry, and then uh, allow myself to bundle back up because it's possible if you sweat, even in like 27 degrees, you can still develop hypothermia even though from the outside it looks like I'm all bundled up. So that's an important thing here is that the you know cotton on the other hand it's just gonna it's like it just takes the moisture and it just traps it and in warm weather you're just gonna feel yucky and in cold weather that could be a life or death situation another problem with cotton is that when it does get wet whether it's because you sweat or maybe you got it rains on you or you fell in a lake uh, anything like that what happens is cotton just as soon as it gets wet, it no longer does any, doesn't provide any type of insulation compared to say something like a wool shirt, which is that if wool gets wet, it will still help keep you warm. It still keeps most of its insulation properties. Uh, now compare this to say down, uh, like a down blanket or sleeping bag, quilt, uh, puffy coat is down when it gets wet, loses all of its properties, insulation properties as well. And people sometimes think, well, wait a minute, if, if I must just wear cotton, why do I wear it down or why do I want down camping equipment? And that comes down to is, uh, is that down is uh, very light. It's a per, it provides the best insulation to uh, weight ratio that we have of any material. And secondly, not only is it light, it packs down to incredibly small sizes. I'm gonna do a video in the future and comparing like a synthetic sleeping bag to uh, a down sleeping bag and you'll see the difference it makes when it when it comes down to packing so uh, so another thing finally the thing is that cotton 
is that it just takes a long time to dry. So if it does get wet, not only is it no longer keeping you warm, not only does it not let you breathe when you get soaked full of sweat, uh, it just takes a long time to dry. Uh, but that's gonna be a nice segue to why do I keep one of these shirts around with me and I take one with me anytime I go in the outdoors. Okay, so I always like to make sure I have a triple extra large uh, t-shirt with me uh, because it makes sure it's bright orange. Uh, I actually designed this shirt and have it uh, up on Amazon. I can put a link to it. Uh, it just as my survival shirt. Uh, and the reason why I like it, have it this large is because it will fit over anything I'm wearing. Because let's say I'm lost uh, and I need to get found, having something where bright orange makes it easy to, to be seen in the outdoors. The other part, having 100% cotton with me, is that uh, it can be great for using it as a bandage. Uh, it also can be used as fire tinder. And that property of the fact that cotton takes just holds water really well is I can use this to collect water uh, and, and use it to get me water in an absolute survival situation. Like if, uh, if it was raining, I could put it out here or collecting dew, if it's a heavy dew morning, I could use this to collect dew and then wring it out and I'd have water. Now that's a desperate situation, but maybe we'll do that in a future video just to, to, to talk about that and show it off because I think it'd be fun to, to demonstrate. So, okay, so wrapping up, you know, cotton has its purpose in our kit, uh, but when you're talking about your base layer, talking about the clothing we want to wear in the outdoors, you want to wear synthetics and you want to wear wool. Those are, are going to be your two best things to wear because it's just going to make you feel more comfortable in warm weather because the sweat will evaporate. And uh, if particularly something like say like wool will keep itself warm if it does get wet and say like in, in, in rain or snow. All right. Uh, until next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.